Welcome to Control System Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about some of the important MCQs on control systems. In force voltage analysis, the analogous element for displacement is options are flux, charge, current, and voltage. Okay, this is the tabular column which represents the force voltage analysis. Okay, these are the mechanical quantities and these are the electrical quantities. Okay, in our bit, they are asking for analogy element for displacement. Okay, in mechanical system, this is the displacement. For this displacement, the analogy element in electrical system is charge. So, option B is the right answer. Okay, coming to next bit, electrical resistance is analogous to options are inertia, damper, spring and fluid capacity. Okay, this is the tabular column which represents the analogous between mechanical and electrical systems. Okay, these are the mechanical parameters and these are the analogous electrical parameters. Okay, they are asking for resistance that is analogy element for resistance. Okay, this is the resistance. This resistance in electrical system is analogous to damping rate or damper. So, option B is the right answer. Coming to next one, the output of the feedback control system must be a function of options are reference input, reference output, output and feedback signal, input and feedback signal. Okay, this is the representation of closed loop control system or feedback control system. In this, we are going to take the output here and this is the reference input and this is the feedback signal. Here, we are going to take the output here means this output is the function of reference input as well as feedback signal. So, option D is the right answer. Coming to next bit, the principle of homogeneity and superposition are applied to options are linear time variant systems, nonlinear time invariant system, linear time invariant system, nonlinear time invariant system. Here, superposition theorem states that the overall output of a system is the summation of two or more inputs. That is nothing but superposition theorem states that two signals addition and homogeneity property must be satisfied and that is applicable to linear time invariant system. Okay, linear time invariant system. So, option C is the right answer. Coming to next bit. If the initial conditions for a system are zero, what does it physically mean? Options are the system is at rest but stores energy, the system is working but does not store energy, the system is at rest or no energy is stored in any of its what, the system is working with zero reference input. Here, initial conditions for a system are nothing but the system is at rest and there is no energy stored means there is no stored energy in a given system so option c is the right answer that is the system is at rest or no energy is stored in any of its part coming to next bit in an open loop system options are output control the input signal output has no effect over input signal some other variable control the input signal neither output nor any other variable has any effect on the input okay this is the representation of open loop system this is the gain here we are going to apply the input and here we are going to take the output in this depending upon the input we are going to get the output but there is no effect of output in the input okay so option b is the right answer that is output has no effect that is output has no control over the input signal so option b is the right answer coming to next bit the transfer function of a system can be used to study its options are steady state behavior transient behavior both a and b none of these here transfer function is defined as Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input by considering initial conditions are zero. Okay, by using this transfer function, we are going to study the tra steady state behavior as well as 
transient behavior of any type of system okay this is transfer function by using this transfer function we are going to study the steady state behavior and transient behavior of any type of system so option a is the that is option c is the right answer both a and b coming to next bit the overall transfer function from the block diagram reduction for cascaded blocks is options are sum of each block gain product of each block gain difference of each block gain and division of each block gain okay here we are going to find out the transfer function if the blocks are connected in cascaded here cascaded are nothing but series okay consider these are the two blocks which are connected in series the overall transfer function of this cascaded blocks is the product of these two blocks that is product of gains of these two blocks that is nothing but g1 into g2 okay here they are asking for transfer function if the blocks are connected in cascaded that is product of individual gains or product of each block gain so option b is the right answer coming to next one the transfer function of the system is defined as the ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input considering initial conditions are options are 1 2 0 and infinite here transfer function is defined as laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input by considering initial conditions are 0 so option c is the right answer okay transfer function is defined as laplace transform of output to the laplace transform input by considering initial conditions are 0 so option c is the right answer Okay, coming to next one the overall transfer function of two blocks in parallel are options are sum of each block gain product of each block gain difference of each block gain and division of each block gain okay these two are the blocks having the transfer functions g1 and g2 which are connected in parallel okay the overall transfer function of these two blocks is the is the summation of transfer functions of each block that is transfer function of first block is g1 and transfer function of second block is g2 so this is the overall transfer function of these two blocks so option a is the right answer that is the overall transfer function is sum of the each block gain that is g1 plus g2 that is the gain get added up if if the blocks are connected in parallel okay coming to next one the closed loop gain of the system which is given below the options are minus 9 by 5 minus 6 by 5 6 by 5 and 9 by 5 okay this is our block diagram for this block diagram we have to find out the transfer function or gain of a system okay for this type of problems first we have to identify the type of the feedback here this indicates the feedback this feedback signal is connected to the positive sign so this is the positive feedback system okay the transfer function for a positive feedback system which is having the g as a forward block and h as a feedback path is given as g of s by 1 minus g of s into h of s okay in this g of s is nothing but minus 3 and h of s is nothing but 0.5 substitute these two values in this transfer function then we will get the overall gain of a given block diagram that is by substituting we are going to get minus 6 by 5 so option b is the right answer coming to next one the inverse laplace transform of impulse response is options are transfer function output step response z transform here inverse laplace transform of impulse response is nothing but transfer function okay we know transfer function definition that is laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input okay one more definition for transfer function is inverse laplace transform of impulse response is also a transfer function so option a is the right answer
that is inverse Laplace transform of impulse response is transfer function. Coming to next one, the analogy electrical element for angular displacement is options are current, charge, magnetic flux and inductance. Okay, this is the tabular column which gives the analogy between rotational mechanical system and electrical system. Here they are asking for angular displacement. Okay, this angular displacement is related to rotational mechanical system. Okay, this is the angular displacement. The analogy element that is analogy electrical element for angular displacement is magnetic flux. So option C is the right answer. Okay, coming to next one, the analogy rotational mechanical element for capacitance is options are mass, inertia, spring, damper. Okay, this capacitance is the electrical element. We have to find out analogy element for this capacitance. Okay, for this we have to remember rotational mechanical system and electrical system. Okay, these are the electrical parameters and these are the mechanical parameters that is rotational mechanical system parameters okay this is the capacitance for this capacitance the analogy mechanical element is moment of inertia so option b is the right answer okay okay for this type of bits we have to remember this tabular column coming to next one the analogy translational mechanical element for capacitance options are mass inertia spring damper here they are asking for translational mechanical element for a electrical quantity of capacitance. Okay, for that we have to remember this tabular column that is analogy between translational mechanical system and electrical system. Okay, here electrical quantity is capacitance. For capacitance, we are going to find out mass element is the analogy for this capacitance. So option A is the right answer. Okay, for this type of bits, we have to remember analogy between mechanical and electrical systems. Okay, coming to next one, the analogy electrical element for velocity is options are current, voltage, charge, damper. Here, this velocity is the mechanical quantity. For this mechanical quantity, we have to find out the equivalent electrical element. Okay the tabular column for rotational that is translational mechanical system and electrical mechanical system is this one okay in this they are asking for velocity analogy element for velocity velocity is the translational mechanical system quantity okay this is the velocity quantity okay for this the equivalent that is analogy element for electrical system is voltage so for velocity the analogy electrical element is voltage. So option B is the right answer. Okay, coming to next one. The meaning of analogy of control systems is options are reciprocal property, similarity property, series property, all of the above. Here the meaning of analogy in control systems is similarity or if the two networks are said to be analogous that is nothing but the differential equation of those two equations are similar so the meaning of analogy is similarity so option b is the right answer coming to next one the mass element stores the dash energy options are potential energy kinetic energy both potential and kinetic and none of the above here mass is the one of the basic element in translational mechanical system okay this mass element stores the kinetic energy and the property of this mass element is to stores the kinetic energy so option b is the right answer okay coming to next one the system in which the input is independent on the output is options are closed loop system open loop system feedback system none of the above okay this is the representation of open loop system in this here we are going to take the output and here we are going to apply the input in this the output is depends upon the input 
output is depends upon the input but input is independent from the output here the question is the system in which input is independent on the output that is nothing but open loop control system so option b is the right answer Coming to next one, the system in which input is independent on the output is options are closed loop system, open loop system, feedback system, none of the above. Okay, this is the representation of closed loop system. Here we are going to take the output and here we are going to apply the input and this is the feedback system. Okay, in this some part of output we are going to apply to the input means input is dependent on the output input is dependent on the output so this is the closed loop system or it is also known as a feedback system so option a as well as option c both are the right answers coming to next one by using block diagrams it is possible to find options are output of the system transfer function both and none of the above here block diagram is a technique for finding the transfer function of a given control system okay i repeat block diagram is a technique for finding the transfer function of a given control system so option b is the right answer okay coming to next one translational motion is the motion of options are about a fixed axis along a straight line about a fixed axis and along a straight line none of the above here translation motion represents the type of the system that is translational system translational system is defined as the system in which the motion of the system is along a straight line okay if the motion of a system is like this okay this is a straight line the motion of the system is along this straight line those type of systems are called translational mechanical system and this motion is called the translational motion so option b is the right answer translational motion is the motion along a straight line coming to next one the transfer function is defined as the inverse laplace transform of the response of options are sinusoidal signal step signal impulse signal and ramp signal here transfer function is nothing but laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input by considering initial conditions are zero this is one definition for transfer function we are having one more definition that is inverse laplace transform of impulse response inverse laplace transform of impulse response is also a definition for transfer function so here transfer function is defined as the inverse laplace transform of impulse response so option c is the right answer okay coming to next one an open loop control system is one in which dash has no effect on the dash okay options are output input input output input input and none of the above this is the representation of open loop control system here we are going to apply the input and here we are going to take the output okay in this output depends upon the input but input is independent on the output so output has no effect on the input so option a is the right answer okay coming to next one the systems whose differential equations are identical are called dash systems options are analogy electrical rotational none of the above here the systems whose differential equations are identical here identical are nothing but similar those type of systems are called analogy systems okay so option a is the right answer if two systems having the same differential equations those systems are called analogy to each other so option a is the right answer 